good evening students uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, today our chapter is profit loss and discount this is the new chapter and uh, the first uh, is your worksheet one all total there are uh, four problems that are to be discussed in this session with some formulas so let's start with formulas of profit loss and discount so the first one is profit the first one is your profit now when profit uh, what is profit now there are actually two quantities one is your selling price and one is your cost price one is your selling price and one is your cost price now what is selling price or sp selling price or sp is the price at which you are selling something the price at which you are selling something that is your selling price or sp and what is cost price the price at which you are buying something that is your cost price now when selling price is greater than cost price when selling price is greater than cost price then that is profit suppose you are uh, you have bought um, a pencil for rupees 2 you have bought a pencil for rupees 2 that means rupees 2 is your cost price and you are selling the same pencil for rupees 5 that means rupees 5 is your selling price so sp minus cp that is rupees 5 minus rupees 2 that is rupees 3 will be your profit in this case selling price is greater than cost price so you will have profit in this case that means profit equals to selling price minus cost price that is the main formula of profit whenever sp is greater than cp sp is greater than cp next one loss 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 is just reverse that is cp minus sp that means cost price will be greater than selling price cost price will be greater than selling price now think this uh, situation like this suppose rupees 2 was your selling price and uh, suppose uh, you have bought a pen for rupees 15 that is your cost price and you are selling that pen for rupees 10 that is the your selling price that means selling price is less than cost price that means rupees 5 will be your loss that means some cp minus sp rupees 15 minus rupees 10 that gives to rupees 5 and rupees 5 will be the loss okay so loss uh, means cp minus sp when cp is greater than sp and profit is sp minus cp when sp is greater than cp clear okay? so this is what about profit and loss and sp and cp now what is profit percentage if uh, the question is asked like this find out the profit percentage and loss percentage profit percentage and loss percentage now uh, always remember profit percent and loss percent are to be calculated on the basis of cost price profit percent and loss percent both are to be calculated on the basis of cost price clear so profit percentage formula is find out profit divided by cp into 100 find out profit divided by cp into 100 so that is the formula of profit percentage so profit percentage equals to profit by cp into 100 same loss percentage formula is loss divided by cp into 100 also loss percentage is also calculated on the basis of cp clear so this is profit uh, formula loss formula profit percentage loss percentage profit is also sometimes termed as gain profit is also sometimes sometimes term, termed as gain that is profit or gain or you can write profit percentage and gain percentage same both are same next if you are to calculate profit that is from profit percentage you are to be calculated profit so just cross multiply and deduce the profit so formula of profit will be profit percentage into cp divided by 100 that is from this equation i have calculated the profit the formula of profit so cross multiply profit percentage into cp divided by 100 from here also calculate loss so cross multiply and find out the value of loss same loss percentage into cp divided by 
loss percentage into CP divided by 100. Clear? So these are all the formulas of profit, loss, profit percentage and loss percentage. Clear? Next, formula of CP and SP. Formula of CP and SP. So SP equals to, that is selling price equals to, suppose if cost price uh, and selling price are given or suppose suppose uh, cost price and profit percentage are given cost price and profit percentage are given and you have to find out the selling price so formula will be selling price equals to cost price into 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100 that is selling price sp equals to cp into 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100 clear also if suppose uh, you have given loss percentage instead of profit percentage so what is the formula formula will be cp equals to same sp equals to cp 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 so instead of profit percentage we will write loss percentage and the sign will be minus remaining things are same clear now find the formula of cp so from here from this equation find the formula of cp so cp equals to from this equation we will find the formula of cp so cp equals to sp into 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage that will be the formula of cp from this equation we have calculated the value of cp so cp will be just cross multiply sp into 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage sp into 100 divided by 100 plus profit percentage from this equation also calculate the value of cp when loss percentage is given so cp equals to sp into 100 divided by 100 minus loss percentage so these are all the formulas of profit and loss clear discount will be discussed in the next session that is in the worksheet 2 in this worksheet only profit and loss problems are solved clear? so just note down all these formulas because these formulas are required while solving these questions clear? so let's start with question number one Let's start with question number one. So question number one, by selling a bed sheet for rupees 640, a shopkeeper earns a profit of 28%. How much did it cost to the shopkeeper? So uh, question says by selling a bed sheet for rupees 640. So by selling a bed sheet for 640 rupees means it is a selling price. That is selling price of bed sheet is given. That is rupees 640. So SP is given, so write down SP equals to rupees 640, SP equals to rupees 640, clear? Next uh, a shopkeeper earns a profit of 28%, that is profit is also given, so profit equals to 28%. The question says how much did it cost the shopkeeper that means we have to find out the cost price that is the price at which the shopkeeper purchase the bed sheet so two quantities are given one is SP and another one is profit one is SP and another one is the profit and uh, with this two quantity we have to find out the CP with this two quantity with the, we, have, we have to find out the CP clear so the formula is sp equals to when sp and profit percentage or gain percentage is given uh, the formula is sp equals to cp into 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100 that is the formula and we will use this formula to reduce the value of cp so just write here let CP of bed sheet equals to rupees X. 
CP of the bed sheet equals to rupees X and uh, put the values so SP equals to rupees 640 CP is X into 100 plus profit percentage profit is given 28 so 28 divided by 100 therefore 640 equals to X into it is 128 divided by 100 so reduce the value of X it will be 640 into 100 divided by 128 now reduce so 264 250s 64 it is 10 so it is 500 so CP is 500 that means CP will be 500 so you will write that uh, how the question says how much did it cost the shopkeeper that means you will write it cost the shopkeeper rupees 500 it cost the shopkeeper rupees 500 so rupees 500 will be the answer that means uh, 500 is the CP of the bed sheet okay next question number three number three question number three says Ankit sold two jeans for rupees 990 each on one he gains 10% and on the other he lost 10% find his gain or loss percent in the whole transaction that means Ankit is uh, selling two jeans for rupees 990 each that means uh, each jeans are selling for rupees 990 and on selling he gains 10% on one jeans and on another jeans he lost 10% so we have to find out the total gain or loss percentage in the whole transaction that means the total uh, SP will be 990 plus 990 because here he is selling two jeans and the selling price of one jeans is rupees 990 so the selling price of two jeans will be 2 into rupees 990 or you can write 990 rupees plus 990 rupees that will be the value of or the uh, selling price of 2 jeans so find out the SP of 2 jeans first so SP SP of 2 jeans equal to 2 into is 990 that means 2 9s are 18 carry 1 2 9s are 18 1s are 90 so 9 1 9 8 0 so sp of 2 genes will be rupees 1 9 8 0 that is the sp of 2 genes so uh, the final uh, look at the final uh, question we have to find out the gain or loss percentage we have to find out the gain or loss percentage so to find out the gain or loss percentage we will have to know the cp of 2 genes because without knowing CP, we cannot find gain or loss. So to find gain or loss, we have to find out CP first. So CP of uh, two genes first. That means the next line, on one he gains 10% and on another he lost 10%. So if he is selling the two genes separately, so from one genes he lost 10% and on another genes he gains 10%. So gain percentage is given. So in case of first genes, the gain percentage or profit percentage is 10 percent on first jeans the profit percentage is 10 percent so just make a column for first jeans for first jeans so for first jeans sp was rupees 990 and gain is 10 percent so from this two quantity we have to find out the cp for first genes so let cp is rupees x let cp equal to rupees x so the same formula sp equals to cp into 100 plus profit percentage so uh, you can write profit or gain both are same divided by 100 same formula to be used so sp is 
990 cp is x 100 plus gain percentage uh, is 10 divided by 100 that means 990 equals to x into 110 divided by 100 from here value of x will be 990 into 100 divided by 110 that means x equals to 900 so selling uh, cp of first genes will be uh, 900 so right here therefore cp of first genes equals to rupees 900 this is 9 clear this is 9 so cp of first genes is rupees 900 now uh, for second genes so make a column same for second genes so also for second genes sp the same sp is same rupees 990 but here in second genes he is making a loss and that is equal to 10 percent for first genes he is gaining 10 percent on the second genes he lost 10 percent so loss is 10 percent now same formula uh, right let cp equal to rupees y cp is y clear next so formula is now uh, sp and loss is given so formula will be between sp and loss so formula will be here applied sp equals to cp into 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 100 minus loss percentage divided by 100 clear so cp SP will be 990, CP will be uh, your Y and 100 minus loss is 10% divide by 100. So 990 equals to Y into this is 90 divide by 100. Therefore, Y will be 990 into 100 by 90 so 1010 10 will reduce and 9 this is 110 clear so here uh, from here y will be 1100 0, 0, that is 1100 clear so here y will be 1100 from here uh, the y the here this is 90 this is 90 0, 0 will reduce and 9 11 and 9 99 so 110 and here is 0 present so 1100 so y is 1100 that means sp of second genes sorry sorry cp is second genes will be 1100 so i am erasing this portion so cp of second genes comes out as 1100 clear so we will write here cp of second genes equals to rupees 1100 so cp of first genes is uh, rupees 900 and cp of second genes is 1100 so uh, total cp will be uh, 900 plus 1100 so i'll write therefore cp of two genes will be 1100 plus 900 that will be equals to 0 0 9 0 carry 1 that is 2000 now see uh, cp of two genes is rupees 2000 and sp of two genes was 1980 clearly see sp is less than cp sp is less than cp so he is making a loss so sp was rupees 1980 for two genes and cp is rupees 2000 so clearly sp is less than cp that means it is a loss he is making a loss clear so we have to find out the loss percentage in the whole transaction so formula of loss percentage is formula of loss percentage how can uh, we understand that it is a loss because sp is greater than cp or we can say sp is less than cp that means he is making a loss clear so loss percentage equals to formula is loss divided by cp into 100 now what is loss so find out loss here just find out loss here loss means 
CP minus SP. So CP is rupees two thousand. SP is rupees one nine eight zero. So losses just subtract. And this is uh, twenty rupees twenty zero and uh, zero two tens zero zero. This is so losses rupees twenty rupees loss. So put this value. So twenty loss divided by CP is uh, rupees two thousand. CP is two thousand into hundred. So reduce the percentage value zero zero reduce zero. So one so one percent. That means he is making a loss of one percent. He is making a loss of one percent. Twenty divided by two thousand into hundred. So he is making a loss of one percent in the whole transaction. So right answer here. He just uh, right answer here. He is making a loss one percent in the whole transaction. Clear? So one percent will be the answer. Next. So this is a, a very uh, interesting question. Next question. Question number five is the question is important question. Question number five. Question number five. Question number five. Question number five says by selling thirty-five greeting cards, a shopkeeper losses an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. Find this loss percentage. Read again. By by selling thirty-five greeting cards, a shopkeeper losses an equal amount an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. That means shopkeeper is selling thirty-five greeting cards and he is making a loss. That will be equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. So find out the loss percentage. So just uh, consider here that the selling price of one greeting card is X. Selling price of one greeting card is X. So right, let uh, just a second. so let's consider let selling price of one greeting card equals to rupees x let selling price of one greeting card equals to rupees x clear so uh, 35 greeting cards so selling price of 35 greeting cards will be 35 into x that means 35x therefore Selling price of thirty-five greeting cards equal to rupees thirty-five x. Clear. And see a shopkeeper losses an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. So also here selling price of five greeting cards. So selling price of five greeting cards will be. 5x because selling price of one greeting card is rupees x. So selling price of five greeting cards will be rupees 5 into x. That means 5x. So selling price of five greeting cards will be rupees 5x. Clear. So now uh, read the line again. Selling by selling 35 greeting cards, a shopkeeper losses an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. So uh, th SP of 35 greeting cards is rupees 35x. Clear. And he is making a loss of he is making a loss an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. That means by uh, the selling price of five greeting cards, the selling price of five greeting car cards is rupees 5x, and the loss is also rupees 5x because The shopkeeper losses an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. That means the selling price of five greeting cards is the loss of by selling thirty-five greeting cards. By selling thirty-five greeting cards, the shopkeeper losses an amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. So uh, uh, just underline this portion: losses amount equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. That means the selling price of five greeting cards is rupees five x, and the loss is equal to five x. Because loss is uh, the statement is given loss is equal to the selling price of five greeting cards. So selling price of five greeting cards is rupees five x. That means loss is also rupees five x. That means it is also loss. So loss equals to rupees five x. Now see 
uh, SP is uh, rupees 35x and loss is rupees 5x. From here, we have to find out the formula of CP. Why? Because the final question says we have to find out the loss percentage. So to find loss percentage or gain percentage, we have we need two quantity. One is SP and one is CP. So SP is already known that is 35x and uh, loss is rupees 5x. So we have to find out the CP. Now the uh, formula of CP is what is the formula of uh, we have to uh, the formula of loss loss is formula cp minus sp loss is cp minus sp so loss is given rupees 5x loss is given rupees 5x cp is not known to us and sp is rupees 35x so from here this is minus so from here if we find out cp so that is equals to 5x plus 35x that means cp equals to rupees 40x cp is rupees 40x so cp is now rupees 40x and sp is now rupees 35x so we have already uh, deduced two quantity one is sp and one is cp so from here we easily uh, find out the loss percentage that means the write the formula so loss percentage will be formula is loss by cp into so loss is actually 5x loss is 5x so put 5x here cp is rupees 40x that is 40x this is 100 so xx will cancel 00, 0 will cancel 2 2 are 4 2 5 are 10 that means 5 5 are 25 by 2 that means 12.5 percent so answer is your 12.5 percent that is loss will be your 12.5 percent 12.5 percent will be your answer 12.5 percent okay next last question number six question number six and this worksheet is complete so question number six question number six says a man bought bananas at the rate of rupees 10 at the rate of 10 for rupees 45 and sold at the rate of one dozen bananas for rupees 51 find is gain or loss percentage so one dozen one dozen means uh, 12 so one dozen bananas that is equals to 12 bananas clear so uh, a man is bought man, the man bought bananas at the rate of 10 at the rate of 10 for rupees 45 this line means at the rate of 10 rupees 45 means he is buying bananas at the rate of 10 for rupees 45 at the rate of 10 for rupees 45 and sold at the rate of one dozen banana for rupees 51 clear so cost price of uh, 10 banana is rupees 45 the line means that at the rate of 10 rupees 45 means he is buying 10 bananas for rupees 45 he is buying 10 bananas for rupees 45 and he is selling one dozen banana for rupees 51 that means he is selling 12 bananas for rupees 51 clear and we have to find out gain or loss percentage whether he is making a gain or whether he is making a loss so to find out gain or loss we have to find out the cp and sp for one banana we have to find out cp and sp of one banana so clearly he is uh, selling he is uh, bought, he bought 10 bananas for rupees 45 10 bananas for rupees 45 so cp of 10 banana equal to rupees 45 we can easily write from this line that cp of 10 banana equal to rupees 45 so right here therefore cp of 10 bananas equal to rupees 45 so in unitary method cp of one banana will be rupees 45 by 10 because cp of one banana will be less than C of uh, 10 uh, will be less than 10 bananas so reduce 5 nines are 45 5 twos are 10 that means rupees 9 by 2 this is the cp of one banana again he is selling one dozen banana that is 12 bananas for rupees 21 for rupees 51 so we can write sp of 12 bananas equal to rupees 51 like this so sp of 12 bananas equal to rupees 51 so from here we can find out in entry method that is sp of one banana equal to rupees 51 divided by 12 so reduce 3 3 4s are 12 3 17 are 51 that means rupees 17 by 4 clear so sp of one banana and sp of 
in cp of one banana so cp of one banana is rupees 9 by 2 and sp of one banana equal to rupees 17 by 4 so now we have to find out his gain or loss percentage so to find out gain or loss we have to find out whether uh, the cp and sp whether uh, the uh, whether cp is greater or whether sp is greater so uh, just look at carefully the two fraction cp is rupees 9 by 2 and sp is rupees 47 uh, 17 by 4 so which one is greater so cp is rupees 9 by 2 so just try to convert this into decimal 9 by 2 this is the cp so if you convert this into decimal you will find that it is equals to 4.5 it is equals to 4.5 and now convert this into your decimal point that is sp so 17 by 4 so convert so this is 4 4 are 16 1 0 4 2 are 8 2 0 4 5 are 20 so it is 4.25 it is 4.5 it is 4.25 so which one is greater 4.5 is greater that means 9 by 2 is greater so 9 by 2 means cp cp is greater if cp is greater that means he is making a loss if cp is greater that means he is making a loss so we, have, we will find out the loss so from uh, this technique we can easily find out whether it is loss or whether it is gain clear so he is making a loss so loss formula is cp minus sp so cp is rupees 9 by 2 and sp is rupees 17 by 4 now lcm so lcm of 2 and 4 will be the 4 then the same process multiply the uh, same process 4 ones are 4 it is 17 so it is 1 by 4 so he is making a loss of rupees 1 by 4 clear but uh, the question says we have to find out the loss percent we have to find out the loss percent so it is loss so formula of loss percentage is formula of loss percentage is loss divide by cp into 100 so loss is actually 1 by 4 1 by 4 and cp cp is uh, rupees 9 by 2 so put the value of cp into 100 now uh, this will reverse so 2 and this is 4 into 9 into 100 so 2 2 is 4 2 50 is 100 that means 50 by 9 percent so convert this into mixed fraction uh, 9 fives are 45 so 5 upon 5 by 9 percent 5 upon 5 by 9 percent will be the answer clear okay? so 5 upon 5 by 9 percent is the answer so he is making a loss of 5 upon 5 by 9 percent clear okay? so all these four questions are complete clear okay? in the next session we will uh, discuss the discount formulas and the worksheet clear okay? thank you